This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. The one ICT hack to change your life. This one ICT hack will change your life and your trading too. In this video, we will be going over a crucial element of ICT that most traders overlook and how this one element can make or break your trading career. What is it? To be fair, what we are covering in this video is not necessarily a hack. It is part of ICT's original teachings. However, many traders do not focus on this one element as this should be the main element of your trading strategy. Time-based liquidity in kill zones. Yes, I know it's two, but it's all based around time. These are the most important aspects of your trading strategy. If you are not waiting for liquidity to be swept and you are not entering your trade during the kill zone time, your trade will most likely not pan out as hoped. This is because the kill zones are like security gates that are opened at specific times for the market makers to go out and hunt for retail stop orders. The times outside of the kill zone hours are when liquidity is being engineered. Swing levels are created and manufactured, so retail traders will place their stop loss behind them. If you follow this method we are about to outline, you will improve your trading success immensely. Let's go to the hack. The ICT hack. Here is one method that you can employ that will greatly improve your trading. 15 minutes before an ICT kill zone, do the following. Draw out the swing highs and lows during the session before the one you are moving into. When the kill zone starts, wait for one of the swing highs or lows to be taken. After that occurs, look for your favorite ICT entry model on the one minute or five minute chart to go to the opposite side. Let's take a look at some examples. Here we have the New York Open and the pre-New York Open. If we are right before the New York Open, we should draw out a measurement of the high and the low of the previous session. You can do that using a Fibonacci tool or this GAN box that I'm using. We want to mark out the 50% of that range. When the kill zone opens, we look for price to take liquidity or rebalance price. Here, price takes this liquidity right here. Then it rebalances, not all the way, but it's above the 50% equilibrium. Then we can look for our ICT entry model. Here we have a break of structure, a retrace into the order block, and then price moves to the downside. If you want to trade the afternoon session of New York, you can look at the lunchtime hour. Draw your range from the high to the low, and 50% of that range. We can mark out 50% and wait for price to trade above it to take liquidity. And then once it crosses below, we can look for an entry model. And that happens here. We have a break of structure from this level, then a retrace all the way close to the 50%, but it's into this small order block here. And that would be an entry to the downside. Now, there is another method that I want you to use to really improve your trading results. It is time-based liquidity. Now, if we draw out the range of this afternoon session and we draw out the range of this New York session, we will use the 50% level of these sessions as targets for future trading. Let's watch what happens in price. We see price moves to the downside and we drew out the range of the Asian session. Then price continues to move during the London session. We drew out the range of the London session and we put the equilibrium. Let's put the equilibrium of the Asian session. As price continues to move, we see that after the London session, during the pre-New York session, price moves into 50% of this Asian session and then reacts to the downside 
during the New York Open. Now again, let's zoom in a little bit. If we drew out our range from the pre-New York Open, we see that price reacts from this 50% level. This is the equilibrium of this downward move. And if you wanted to trade, you could see there is a break of structure here, then a retracement into this level, which is the beginning of the order block, and then a move downward. Price goes for this liquidity level here at the beginning of the range of the pre-New York session. It's not a big trade, but this is a Wednesday, and if you have listened to any of our other videos, you will know that during the New York Open, there's a lot of consolidation that happens on Wednesdays. So let's continue. And if we draw out our range from the New York session, we see during the lunch hour, another range is created. Then during after New York lunch, price breaks out of this range and then retraces right back to where 50% of this New York range. It taps into 50% of the New York range and then takes off. Then it goes right back in and taps it again and takes off even further. But where is it going? Let's go all the way back to where we measured out our New York range the day before and our New York afternoon session. Here's the 50% level of that. Here's the 50% level of this New York range. If we look and see where price goes to, it actually blows right through that afternoon session, 50%, and goes straight to the New York Open, 50% level. Then it retraces all the way back. Now, where do you think it's going? What level was not tapped? Let's look. This afternoon lunch hour had a 50% level that was not tapped. That's exactly where price returns to. And then it takes off again. To recap, mapping out time-based liquidity and limiting your trading during the kill zone hours will greatly increase your win rate and help you implement a level of discipline that will keep you from overtrading and wrecking your account. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like these. Also, please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you would like any other videos to be created. Thank you for watching.